Hi guys, this is Lauren coming at to you. Let's try that again. Hi guys, this is Lauren coming at you. Coming to you? Hi guys, this is Lauren coming to you with another video. Today we're going to do a quick home tour of this property here on 904 Greenbury Place. This home is called the Royal Oasis. We're going to give you guys the full experience of this tour. I'm going to try to go into depth without making this video too long, but I apologize. If it ends up being a little long, I will do my best. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps support the channel so that we can keep bringing you guys this content. So enough with that, let's get into the tour. Hi guys, so we are here at 904 Greenbury Place or how we like to call her the Royal Oasis. This home is 20, 20 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage and it has an open style floor plan with a modern contemporary elevation. This home is a completely Crown Heritage custom home. This floor plan is completely unique as well as the elevation, meaning that there's not one home in the El Paso area that looks like this girl. This girl is completely one of a kind. So here we have a view of the exterior elevation. As you can see right here on the front, we have these wood-like tile, um, wood -like tile planks and this helps warm up the exterior of the home and gives the home more of a unique modern look. So here we have the desert landscaping and right here on the exterior we upgraded this home to an eight foot high garage door with clear glass window panels here on the side to let in natural light and give it more of a custom look. Right here to welcome us into the Royal Oasis we have this beautiful floating step entryway design coming up here we have this beautiful faux skylight that completely floods in all of this natural light as you enter into your home additionally here in the exterior we have this eight foot high 42 inch wide entry door this entry door is made of wood and it has this glass panel in between it to let even more natural light as you'll see once we enter into the home and here we have this linear contemporary modern handle and the beautiful lockbox making its star appearance okay so now we have entered into the royal oasis so here we left this wall so that you can hang a beautiful piece of artwork right here as you walk in. And here, the first thing to greet you in the entryway, as you'll notice, is not one but two entry skylights right over the entry hallway. So immediately you are flooded with a ton of natural light from the skylights along with this beautiful eight foot door right here with a wood like finish. We have the garage door right here to your left. Um, I may show that to you guys later. It's a little messy, but we'll see where the tour leads us. So here we come in and right here you have a coat closet, a double door coat closet with ball catcher hooks so that your guests can immediately hang up their coats or jackets once they enter into your home. Here we have this beautiful accent wall with this peppercorn pepper um, gray finish to welcome you and give a designer touch to the home as you enter into the main living space. Okay, so here we have the dining room. Here, as you can see, we placed this huge window right over the dining room to let in natural light. And instead of stopping that accent pink color, we actually wrapped it around this whole entire, entire wall here so that you can enjoy that color from your dining area. And it gives you a beautiful display to put your favorite piece of artwork there. Here we have this beautiful contemporary light fixture. And as you'll notice, the light fixtures in the main living area are all matte black. Okay, now here we come into the family room. As you can see, we carried the ceiling in the family room all the way to 12 feet high. And additionally, standard with our homes is a ceiling design in the living room area. So here, instead of just filling in these lids with a pink color, an accent pink color, we actually took it a step further and upgraded to these wood-like planks 
They are wood-like, so the maintenance is very minimal, as you can see here. An additional touch that we went for is instead of having the plain um, white disc lights that you usually see, these are LED lights with a silver trim to give it more of a designer look so that it blends more seamlessly with the design. And here, something else that we do different from other builders is a lot of builders just put in the fireplace in the sheetrock, which is totally fine, but we take it a step further. We actually do a fireplace design standard for our homes, and for this girl, we pulled her out and we wrapped it in this beautiful porcelain tile. As you can see, it has some of that shine to it to give it a designer look. And we did carry that tile from the floor to the ceiling. And we left you these two walls here so that you can add cabinetry or display your favorite pieces of artwork. Next, we move into the kitchen area. This is a chef's kitchen. Here, as you can see, you have this island space with this little nook for your breakfast stools. And these are quartz countertops throughout the home. And as you'll notice, the quartz countertops here actually differ from the quartz countertops in the bathrooms to give this home really a custom feel. Here you have your walk-in pantry. Open her up. As you'll notice, we have those built-in shelves. This is another thing that we do to differentiate ourselves from your typical builder. These shelves are custom trimmed and they are built in. Instead of doing the one that you screw on and they get all wobbly and they break and they bend, this is custom trimmed specifically for the dimensions for this pantry. And as you'll see, the shelves are custom trimmed for all of the pantries and the closets in all of our homes. So let's go into the rest of the chef's kitchen. As you can see, we add cabinetry above the refrigerator space to give you more storage. And here we actually carry this beautiful modern backsplash all the way to the top instead of top stopping it at your 12 inches. And as you'll notice in the cabinets in your chef's kitchen, we actually upgraded and did European style melamine cabinetry. These are very high grade A cabinets. And as you can see, we continued it to 42 inch height as opposed to your standard 36 inch height just to give you more storage space there here we have this chrome pot filler for all your pasta or your stews or jambalaya and here you have your cooktops stainless steel appliances your oven microwave and dishwasher and your apron front sink as you can see, we oriented this island parallel to the living space so that you can watch your favorite movie as you're preparing your Christmas meals, you can watch your favorite Christmas movies, or just as you're watching your favorite Food Network channel. And here inside this ca um, the cabinets, we actually have this um, trash bin pullout so that it's just less mess. When you're cutting vegetables, the last thing you wanna do is carry it all the way to the trash can and they fall all over the place, which can be a pain. Here we have this stainless steel hood. As you can see, we carried that backsplash all the way over here. You have this beautiful window right here to let in natural light and it is operable so you can open it. And we have this beautiful apron front sink with this chrome plumbing fixture that actually matches the finish on your pot filler. You have your dishwasher and an additional cabinet here for extra storage. Also, we actually purposely proportioned this wall to hang your favorite piece of artwork so that you can enjoy it from your living room, dining room, kitchen, and as you can see, it's one of the first things you see when you walk in. So I wanted to make sure that we displayed that when we were staging this home. All right, let's go to the back patio. Here you have this sliding door entrance to your backyard patio. And here, I like to give buyers kind of a back viewpoint. And we do have two LED lights here and they are pre-wired for your surround sound system. Okay. And something else that I like to point out to buyers, 
this home actually has higher grade stucco. As you can see, the stucco almost gives off a rubbery finish, kind of looks almost plastic-like. That because this, this stucco was applied with the three hands or tres manos approach. And we're going to do a video very soon. Um, it might come out before this one, but this video basically talks about what we do different from other builders in terms of stucco. This stucco was specifically designed to help minimize stucco cracks and to properly protect your home. As you can see with the stucco, when it is scratched right here, like this, you actually don't see any scratches. These are with my keys. Um, a lot of times when you do that with the normal stucco, um, you'll definitely see the lines. You'll see um, it even start to deteriorate a little bit. As I said, this is a high grade quality stucco and this is a standard for all of our homes. Additionally for this home, very important, as you can see these windows, are slightly recessed to the center of the wall. That is because we do two by six construction for the exterior walls of this home, in addition to OSB sheathing. What that means is this home actually has thicker walls than your standard home. I wanna say about 90, if not more, percentage of builders, especially in the El Paso area, do the two by four as exterior wall studs. Here we did two by six, two by six exterior walls to help improve the structural integrity of your home, help when it's um, settling, and to actually give you a high R rating. Thicker walls allows more insulation in between your walls. So this is a very, very well-built, high-grade home. I always tell buyers, design's important, but really what it comes down to is structural integrity and quality, and this girl definitely has both of those. Okay. Now let's go into the inside. Of course, you have your screen door here. And there you have your electric fireplace. The light actually changes, uh, the light of the flames actually changes colors and it does emit some heat. So now let's move into the private owner suite. So here we have the hallway to the owner's bedroom. And as you can see, this suite is actually zoned away from the other suites, away from the other bedrooms for maximum privacy. So here we go in. Oh, and this guy. Um, we actually include standard with our homes is a smart, um, a smart thermostat. However, unfortunately, just gonna keep it real with you guys, sometimes people steal those. So we have these temporary ones on here until the home closes. Um, so it comes equipped with your smart thermostat. Okay, and here we enter into the owner's bedroom. As you can see here, we included a math owner's bedroom ceiling design. This is standard for us and we actually included this beautiful accent pink color that is the same pink color that you had on that accent wall coming in. Here you have two windows. These are low E double pane energy efficient windows that give you beautiful views to your backyard and let in a ton of natural light. And as you can see here we included a matte black ceiling fan to match the um, light fixtures in the entertainment space. And even though the ceiling fan does have a light, we wanted to upgrade and we actually added four LED lights on top of the light you have here in the fan. Okay. And here we have your owner's bathroom. We have this beautiful barn door to welcome us into your private spa. So here, as you can see, the floor tile in this bathroom actually differs from the field floor tile you have throughout the rest of your home. Another custom touch that we do to take the design a step further. Here you have your freestanding soaking tub with this huge window right here to let in a ton of natural light. But of course it is obscure, so you do not put a show on for your neighbors. And here we have this matte black light fixture. Okay, now let's get into the fun part. And we also have this porcelain um, tile, the same tile that you will find in the shower that we'll go over right now. And we completely wrapped it around the edges of the tub. And here we have the master vanities, his and her sinks. As I mentioned, 
to give each home to give each room a designer look these are the same european style melamine cabinetry however it is a different finish here we have this beautiful neutral finish to complement the selections in this bathroom you have the above the counter vessel sinks and vessel faucets and as you can see we upgraded the height of the backsplash to 12 inches so that they evenly are evenly proportioned to the height of the faucets and here we have this huge oversized mirror that completely takes up this wall and makes the space feel even larger and here we have we put a little hook there for your towels as you enter into your owner's shower so here as you can see we upgraded and in addition to this glass door we also added this glass panel so you don't feel claustrophobic in your shower if you get what i'm saying and as you can see we have this beautiful floor to ceiling porcelain tile design in this beautiful sandy neutral color just so you feel extra relaxed and at ease as you're washing away your troubles for the day and to complement that we have these beautiful river rock pebbles here on the shower floor beautiful delta plumbing fixtures and we have this huge oversized niche here if you're into your lush products or your ulta products you have plenty of room in this girl to um, run wild okay and here you have your private water closet just so you have extra privacy all of the toilets in this home are american standard elongated toilets um, just so they're at a more comfortable height and here we have the master closet here you have this huge closet space as i mentioned earlier this is the same custom built in trap cabin um, custom built shelving that you had in the pantry which is the same that we have for all of our closets And as another custom designer touch, as you'll notice, we have these beautiful slim European rods just to make sure that you have the most ease when you're pulling out your favorite dress or other clothing items. And here we include these built-in shelves for your purses or your shoes. All right. So as you can see, we have a really good size here for the owner's closet. All right. Time to go back out there. Okay, next we're gonna go into the next wing of the home where we'll find our guest bathroom, laundry room, and the second bedroom. Here you have this hallway. And we strategically placed this guest bathroom in close proximity to the main entertainment area. But to be honest with you, not too close because you don't want it to get too funky, if you know what I'm saying. And here you have the guest bathroom. As you can see, we have these two beautiful pendant lights. This huge floating mirror completely takes up this wall, this over-the-counter vessel sink, that beautiful chrome delta trinsic plumbing fixture, a different quartz countertop than you saw in the kitchen with a little baby backsplash there and these beautiful gray European style cabinetry. And as you can see, all of the cabinets in this home are soft clothes. Here we have that same elongated, comfortable height toilet from American Standard. And you have this beautiful tile design here in the guest shower. With a beautiful little niche right there with your little um, stainless steel shooters or nickel shooters okay so here is another view of this bathroom from this view and as you can see everything is very strategic the light fixtures we wanted this one to have a matte black um, not as well so that it is it, it complements the other light fixtures in this home okay here you have your laundry room a lot of builders just put the washer and dryer um, connections in the garage which is totally fine but for us we like to give you your own private room as you have here with 
above cabinetry. And as you can see, those do open north to south just for more ease. And right here, we move into bedroom number two. Here we have this beautiful matte black ceiling fan. And the really cool thing about this bedroom is it actually has its own walk-in closet. So here you have a little walk-in closet here for all of your clothes, shoes, and purses. Okay, close this. As you can see, all the interior doors do match. They're this beautiful neutral gray tone. And now we can go to the third and final wing of the home. So here we come here towards the entrance to I'll show you guys this one first. This is the third bedroom, same ceiling fan. And something that's standard for us is, as opposed to those sliding closet doors that always get broken on the track, they always fall off the track, those are a pain to deal with. So very popular with our buyers, and now it's our standard, is these double door closet doors with those ball catcher hooks, just so they're much easier to open and close. Okay, carpet is standard in all of the bedrooms. And let's move into bedroom number four, the final bedroom. Here, this bedroom is just completely flooded with natural light. We stage this as an office, however, of course, it can absolutely be used as a bedroom. Here, you have three fixed horizontal windows and a fourth egress window right here that is operable. This is the perfect office space because you have all this natural light and because it's proportioned towards the front of the home so you can see your guests whenever they really come visit. And you have that same beautiful matte black ceiling fan here. And of course, this room also comes with the closet space right here. Okay. Now, lastly, let's go into the hall bathroom. Here you have the hall bathroom that services bedroom three and bedroom number four. Okay, so here as you could see, the European cabinetry is actually a different finish from the ones that you had in all of the other bathrooms and in the kitchen. This is a beautiful wood-like finish with these nickel cabinet poles. And you have that beautiful quartz backsplash in this gray tone to perfectly complement this glass backsplash here in this modern design. And it is reflective, hey! And you have that same Delta Trinsic Chrome faucet. Woo. And here we have the mirror, and we actually framed this girl to give it more of a designer look, and that black matches the light fixtures in the other areas of the home, as well as this light fixture right here, this beautiful, sleek vanity light. And here we have the tile design for the hall bathroom shower. Get the little window in here. Okay, so. Here we have this beautiful, cute little niche. And just as a little um, design element, we actually matched the tile there to match the tile that you have here on your backsplash in your hall bath. And it is a good size for all of your soaps, face washes, and body bars. Okay. And lastly, we can take a quick peek into the garage, but it really isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. We have a bunch of storage in here, people. So we have, um, I guess important, a good thing to show is that we do have a tankless water heater. And here is an inside look of that eight foot high garage door with those beautiful glass panels here on this side. And of course, we incorporate this above, um, this, above raised sure raised shelving for your christmas trees halloween decorations so it doesn't take up a ton of room here in your garage with all your cars and all of your junk like we have here okay 
and that completes the final tour. I also wanted to show you guys that actually included with this home are two side gates. This side gate can be found on both sides of the home, which as you can see, um, a lot of builders what they do is they kind of just do that rock wall there, which is totally fine, and they just have one side gate. This home, we have two side gates on both sides. And in addition to that, a lot of builders, as you could see, they do not have the rock wall in the middle to separate um, one property from the other. And this home actually has two rock walls on both sides. I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour of the Royal Oasis. What did you guys think of the home and what's your favorite home design? Let us know in the comments below. Wishing you the best of luck on your home buying journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.